Hello everyone. This is Chris Harris again from craftingwithchris.org and I'm here today to share with you an itty bitty mini album that I made. I made this for a swap with minialbumscraps.ning.com and the swap is not due until August 15th so if you find that it might be something you're interested in, please come out and join us and you still have plenty of time to do one. So this is what I came up with this time. It was a crafter's choice, so I decided to do an itty bitty boxed mini. And the paper that I used is the Theodosia Square it's by the paper studio and it has a lot of very nice papers in it it's a fairly new uh, book for me so I haven't used a whole lot of it but I was real pleased with what it had and I came up with a very nice mini album So, as I said, this is my mini album. This is the top. And <clears throat> the paper that I used on the back had sewing spools and needles and, and thread uh, twisters and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to go with kind of the same theme. And I used the little wooden ruler and I made a little... Uh, dimensional butterfly and the spool and this is a clay flower that I made and this is a porcelain flower and a couple of buttons and some bling and around the edge I found some very pretty ribbon at Joanne Fabrics and it's got the black lace and little black flowers on it I think it was really pretty and I also found the one that I put around the bottom. And I trimmed the edges of the top, but not the bottom. And you'll see why in a minute. So when you open it up, it's a box that opens just like this. And there's your mini album. On the lid of the box, I put... A flower and a stem and on each side here we have flowers then on each page I have where it opens like this and this and has a pocket Oops. So I have to re glue that. That's one side, and all the back sides are the same. The striped paper that I put horizontally so that you could use the lines to write journaling and stuff on. I didn't do a whole lot of embellishing on it because the pages are so small if you do too much embellishing there's no place for photos so the way I've done it here now we have room for three photos and on the front I have a cutout these were all cutouts from the paper line from one of the pages that I fussy cut and then I put foam behind it to hold it up and I put a little trim along the edge here. On the back side of each one, I put a little bling along the side so that there's still room for a picture. The next page. I 
I loved all the old-fashioned women in old-fashioned dresses. Uh, I think that's what I liked the most about this paper line. It reminded me just very much of old-fashioned. On the back of this page, I have a little strip of butter, uh, ladybugs. Here we have an old-fashioned sewing machine. And a dress form. And all of these flaps have magnets to hold them closed. And in the back of this one, I have a strip of flowers. On the inside back cover, I made a pocket with that is extended on the sides and put some of the trim across here and a little bling. And I made three more, four more little cards. Three more. Nope, oh, there was a fourth one in there. And those just tuck in the pocket. This goes back like this, the sides go up, and the box closes. I had a lot of fun doing this. It's a little bit different than a lot of the many albums I've been doing lately, itty bitty albums. And I just thought that it would be unique. So I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, we still have plenty of time for you to join in on the swap. It's not due until August 15th. So come and join us at manyalbumscraps.ning.com. Hope to see you there. Thank you.